best about tonight's performance? Uh, 26, 29 assists in, in a game where guys could have tried to get their own. Um, it's the only way this will work if they really want to share for each other. Uh, 25, what we would call one mores. I have a shot, but he has a better shot. We let that one go. Um, you know, we did not settle for threes in the first half. We just we did what we had to do. And I'll tell you what, I, I got to give it to them. They came out of the gate making shots and playing, and they weren't afraid. We were just too big. Um, but I'm happy that because we were too big, we threw the ball where we should have in the post. Cal, how'd you uh, settle on the two groups, and, and what did you think of that tonight? Well, I didn't think Alex played as well as I thought he should have played in the blue-white. And as much as I didn't want to put three young kids on one group, I just felt it was better for Alex. And then Trey, I thought this would be better for him, too. Trey's still behind. I mean, Trey wasn't doing it for the summer. He didn't do the Bahamas. He's just starting, so he's still a little bit behind. And you see, he's still pretty good. But he stepped in a hole a few times because he ran up and down, got tired, went to jump, and his stepped in a hole. Like he, he didn't jump very high. So and then he dunked that last one. I left him in because I just wanted him to make some plays and shots. And um, but it was, uh, you know, I liked I liked the units the way they were. I thought Andrew was ridiculous. Andrew wanted Dominic to shoot that. He wanted ten assists. He threw that ball cross court and Dom was wide open. Show that. And he passed it to Alex, who made the shot. And, um, but he had nine assists and, I'm guessing, four hockey assists. In other words, he threw it ahead quick enough where that guy could throw it for a pass. So he was outstanding today. John, speaking of communication in the first half, there was one time when Tyler threw the ball into Dakari. They came over to double team and I heard Tyler shout out, you know, coming from behind or something. I don't remember ever hearing that kind of communication on the court last year. Is that what you've been striving for? Or? Well, a friend of mine came in, the coach from up in Western PA, and watched us practice yesterday. And he said, um, last year at this time, you were coaching effort, intensity, passion, if you remember. And he said, now you're just coaching basketball. It's a big difference. Um, it's a lot I enjoy it a lot more. I'll do the other if I have to, but it's what happens when you have veterans back that get it and understand, and you have young kids that are hungry and, and are, are listening and watching. They're learning from each other. Dakari made a free throw. How about that, too? Cal, was there any part of the game, uh, your game, Kentucky's game, that was exposed that would give you concern, something you might need to work on? I probably should have one more platoon. I'd probably feel better with three platoons rather than two, but. Cal, can we make much of, of what uh, Carl was able to do tonight just because he was towering over everyone, or is that kind of what you've well, been let, seeing every let, day Let's just practice. talk about it. You can say what you want, but, you know, Dakari didn't get that many baskets, and part of it was Andrew was spoon-feeding him, but the other part was he was running the floor and he was active. He's getting to where he was open. Um, made his free throw. I mean, Carl can play. Now, he broke down defensively a couple times, and I told him and Devin, if you guys want to score the ball, you will defend and sprint this floor, or you'll be out. You're not taking all the ball shots and then go back and let a guy run by you and dunk on you. It's not happening here. So, but they're young. They're, you know, I thought Devin played well. I love his speed up and down the court. See, Devin, if Devin thinks he's going to get two, two points, you can't believe how fast he is. He will run, he will outrun world-class sprinters to go get that ball. Speaking of which, how well do you think your guys uh, kept the pace up, kept attacking throughout? One, one, there was one segment where we backed up a little bit and we'll show them on the tape. But short of that, I thought they were really good. And we didn't press and trap the whole game, but we, we pressured the whole game. And there are games we'll press more. Um, I like the rotation the way I did it because if that veteran group comes in at the eight minute mark or 745 mark, I can finish a game with that group with one or two subs if I choose to. Or I can go back with that other group and so we can, you know, and, and again, I got to figure out how we finish games. It looks as though the, the, the best five free throw shooters would be on there, Carl being one, maybe Trey being another. Uh, and probably the twins and um, Deb, uh, Tyler. 
would probably be a finishing team. I would imagine we haven't tried it yet, but that's what I would imagine. John, how much do you feel like Devin has progressed from the exhibition games in oh, the Bahamas he's, to now? He's, 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 he's physically. You're looking at a body. You're saying, oh, my gosh, his dad said, I can't believe he's my son. Um, Carl Towns, his dad, saying the same thing about him. Um, the twins' dad looking at their son's like, whoa. Um, Dakari, you look at him running up and down the court. He's as fast as anybody. This kid's flying up and down the court. Now the question is, can we sustain it? And by doing it this way, we... We can sustain stuff. Now, we'll look at these stats. Guys played all about 20 minutes, and we'll equate these into 34-minute stats. If they had played 34 minutes, not 40, 34, which is a normal and uh, college starter playing a lot of minutes, what would their numbers have looked like? That's efficiency. We're going to look at some rebounding efficiency, which is how many offensive rebound attempts were there, how many did you get? Defensively, the same thing. And I think when you start looking at those efficiencies, you're going to see a different look at these guys. And I thought, again, I loved Andrew's aggressiveness on defense and how he passed the ball and got us involved. And um, one team can switch pick and rolls. The other team doesn't have to. You know, we can fight and force down. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like playing two different styles of games when you play these guys. John, you talked a couple of weeks ago about let's see how we defend the three-point shooting and see how we are in transition I was defense. going crazy early in the game. There's two things. And you, if you're watching, we are so big, it's hard to score around a basket. And you say, why? Well, there's two seven-footers on each group, and there's a 6'8 guy that puts his head on the rim, and there's a 6'10 guy with long arms. So there's three guys like that on each team. But there's also a guard that's 6'6 on each team. So you got to beat us up the court in transition. I thought we did a fairly good job. They got in the lane a couple times in transition defense, but they, we were so big they didn't really get baskets at it. I think they made two or three transition goals. But the three-point line is the other one. And then the other side will be try to get to the foul line. I don't think you're going to get it driving to the rim. I don't believe so. Would you uh, prefer to have a 30-second shot clock for this team? I didn't even notice it. 24 would be fine. Uh, can you assess the two platoons, like one versus the other, the first one and the second one? That's kind of like uh, somebody hit me today with it's like a boxer. you got a lefty jab and you got a righty coming right over the top to knock somebody out. And they're different in how they play. Um, what you saw is Pikeville came out of the gate. Now, they were flying. And then each sub I made, each time, by the third sub and then the fourth sub, all of a sudden you see they're missing eight straight shots, ten. They were making every shot for a while. If we left them open, they made it. And that's the whole point of what we're trying to do. Uh, play fast. Don't be in a hurry. But we're playing fast. If we can score quick, we will. If not, let's create a good shot. If we get a shot and miss it, let's send three guys to the glass and rebound. If we don't rebound it, they are not getting a transition basket. You run back. If you don't run back, I'm subbing you out. If your team's not running back, I'll sub all five. We're not giving up three-point shots. Make them drive into our guts of our defense. I mean, it's, if you watch, you're saying, well, that's how you should play. You're not real smart. That's how you should play. You're right. I mean, just normal watching the team, that's what you'd see.